But in today's video, I'm planning to talk about design driven innovation. Okay, so when it comes to innovation, there are like three building blocks of innovation if you look at it in that perspective. One is business, technology, and design. Man, it gets tough. It gets tough to sit down in front of the camera and start making videos because you get too comfortable not doing it. So basically, we had Trip of Design, the design show which I made. So I had six episodes to put on the channel and then I did not have to make more videos because I had videos to be put and planned uh, for premiere. And that's why I got too comfortable. And after that, I was working on Futuring Now, which is another thing which I'll talk about in a second. But because of these two projects, I didn't make any videos and I got too comfortable not doing it. And then it become a struggle to get back to it. So more and more I thought about sitting down making video. I was like, I'm too comfortable not doing it. How to get back? And finally, with step-by-step -step approach, we are back to the business. We are back in front of the light and the camera and starting to talk. Uh, I kind of eased in in this process. And if you want to know more about how I tried to get out of this comfort zone, just go to the Fun Indian Guy podcast on Spotify or anywhere and there you will get to listen to that story in a couple of days. So let's get back to the video. Good to be back. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Suyok, also known as The Fun Indian Guy. I'm a service designer, filmmaker and musician. And uh, this is The Fun Indian Guy channel where we talk about creativity, design and innovation. Uh, matter of fact, apart from those three, four things, I'm also kind of a founder of a new company called Futuring Now. Again, I'll talk about it in a second. But in today's video, I'm planning to talk about design-driven innovation, okay? So when it comes to innovation, there are like three building blocks of innovation if you look at it in that perspective. One is business, technology, and design. And a lot of companies have these different, different teams, uh, which are like a business team, a tech team, and then there is a design team to do design stuff. And that's how they do innovation. But when I started to work in this field, I started to explore, I started to work on different, different projects. I started to realize these are, of course, these are three kind of teams, but these are also three kind of attitude a person can have. So a person can have a design, tech, or business kind of attitude. And I think every time somebody works on something, it's a mixture of all these three things. So you have to just take in consideration one of these aspects and try to push it. But when it comes to innovation, especially in companies and brands, you see two of these elements overpowering the whole game. So one is tech driven innovation, other one is business driven innovation, which is quite obvious because whenever tech is updating itself, inventing new stuff, discovering new stuff, coming up with better ways of solving problems and different, different technologies, automatically the innovation game elevates and then you come up with different applications to do it. So tech driven innovation is very justifiable. Then also the business driven innovation where companies are business teams, uh, they hire consultants to study the market, to understand the requirement of the market, to see what are the potential ways we can make money with, what are the different, different revenue streams which we can have. And that way you start making different, different products to fit the market. And that is mostly from the business side of it. That's why I, I would call it business driven innovation. But then there is a third part, which is usually not so much considered to ignite the process. Of course, design, you will require design to uh, establish different projects, but most of the times you don't see design triggering an innovation project or starting a new project. But I think there is a lot uh, to explore from design perspective, as you know, some of the building blocks of design thinking or design is uh, holistic thinking where you consider all the stakeholders. It could be also your teams, which are tech driven, which are business teams and all those things. So design has capability or let's say education to deal with these different stakeholders. Then there is a user centered approach where you talk about people trying to understand the problem which people are facing and then you come up with solutions. So it's more rooted and the products and services are more meaningful. Then there is a sequential approach where you understand all the links in the whole process or all the links which are there in the whole interaction. So how the things are working. So you get an overview of it and then you try to act on it. So there are these some of the building blocks of design stream which really help to come up with really meaningful products and services which can pro solve problem of people. So I was thinking a lot about having this approach of problem solving and starting some projects. Of course, there are many people around the world who are doing it, but not as much as tech and business driven innovation. As you can see in the market, many of the times the tech people or business people start inviting designers in the team after the beginning of the project. So it becomes a supplementary complementary thing to have in the design process. Not many times we see design teams or design design people or design attitude triggering the project itself. So I was trying to explore this for a long time and then I was like, why don't I try to do it? Why don't I get the design skills, try to study a problem, do some user 
research and come up with a solution and then use tech driven mindset or business driven mindset to make it real and uh, that's why i started to work on a project which is basically futuring now so i came up with the whole idea of futuring now by understanding different needs of people different pain points of people which was basically uh, making an innovation project or starting innovation project or starting uh, an idea and turning it into a startup or executing so i was seeing a lot of struggle in the market or struggle in the people uh, not being able to take action on their ideas and that's why i started to build this solution which was driven from the design thinking side or design thinking attitude and then to execute it i went into technology driven attitude where i started to make infrastructure online to create a solution where people can come and get help or solve their problems uh, and that's why i had to switch my hat from design to tech and then i had to work on how to execute it using the existing technology and while that was happening i had to also wear the business hat in order to make this project possible or to keep it rolling uh, to have a, some certain revenue stream and to make it sustainable that's how the idea was originated from design driven thinking or the design hat then we went into tech and then we used business to sustain it or we are still using all three elements and jumping in and out in order to make this project a reality so that's how futuring now started and i think there is a lot of potential when you go from design tech on business or design business tech uh, and you can come up with so many amazing projects and so many meaningful problem solving techniques which are which have started from a real need of solving problem or making life of some people better but you execute it with the help of technology and you use business model to make it sustainable or to run it uh, on a sustainable basis so i think that was a really nice way of looking at the project to quickly tell you what is futuring now basically we are one of a kind design innovation workshops uh, we do remote digital workshops which you can see on futuringnow.com you can also book your slot for the next one if you're interested in getting with us and realizing your ideas using all these three different elements and essentially we are trying to make a digital lab available to all the people where we are using methods and processes which are usually used in the innovation labs of high tech companies and brands so we are trying to match that bridge of requirement of getting a structured way of innovation and the methods which we know which i have personally used in different different brands and different different companies and making a bridge like futuring now to match these dots so that's how the project is and that's how the project was started from design driven thinking which went into tech and business but at the end of the day all three elements are very very important because that's how you keep everything afloat and keep everything rolling but what matters at the end of all of this is basically you can use all these three building blocks to ignite your process to support your process to execute to build it but unless and until you do it and listen until you go into the execution mode and take your ideas and make them real or start may realizing them step by step uh unless and until you don't do it i think even the million dollar ideas you have are kind of worthless so do that do execute do build things and if you need help you know where to go we have link in the description below that being said don't forget to have fun while you do all these things while you build all these things while you create this business from let's say tech or business or design driven thinking and i will catch you in the next one and we finally made a video after a long time i'm really happy thanks for watching catch you in the next one peace see you out